Jamie deposits $627 into a savings account, which is a really weird amount to put in. Uh, the account has an interest rate of 3.5% compounded quarterly, so I probably should be using my highlighter. So there's something important. There's something very important that's easy to miss. There's something important. Write the function j of t in Jamie's account t years. That matters too after the initial deposit. Now this amount is increasing by 3.5 percent. I've said this before in other videos about exponential but it might need repeating. If I have a hundred dollars and I want it to go up by five percent each year then I can't just multiply a hundred by five percent and get five because if I was expecting to get five percent interest on something and I come back to you a year later with my expectations of receiving more than I uh, put into the account in the first place and you would said hey uh, just kidding here's five dollars that would make me really mad but five dollars would be exactly what I would get if I multiplied a hundred by five percent or 0 0.05 in order to adjust for this I need to have something in place to remind myself that I need to keep the money I already had and then add the five percent so we say a hundred times itself plus a hundred times 0 0.05 and to make that work using the distributive property we just kinda hack that part of it out and we say 0 0.05 and that's 5% annual interest and then you can do it for however many years that you want to do it. I say all that to say this this is kind of how it's going to work with the 3.5% so that part should be easy to set up. Start out with the name of your uh, function J of T and then I want to start out with, uh, not, you can't start out if you've already started out. I want to go to my initial amount in my savings account. One, we're assuming it's increasing since it's not something, it's not a debt or something. So plus 0 0.035, don't put 0 0.35, that would be 35%. It'd make it seem like you're making a lot of money. And you'll notice that I put this bar underneath. What's up with that? Well an interest rate provided is an annual rate which means that you, that's how much money that you, that's the percentage you should earn on your investment every year you'll notice here that we've identified this savings account as giving you interest quarterly which means that four times per year you are assessed some value of interest towards your account which is kinda nice but in order to do that I need to make an adjustment they're not gonna give you 3.5 percent each quarter if they tell you the annual rate is 3.5 percent that would cost them a lot of money. Banks don't like to lose a lot of money. That's not how it works. So instead, I need to divide that annual rate into four equal parts. If this was monthly, I'd do it 12. If this was, um, you know, every day, you'd maybe 365. And if it's continuous, that's a whole other thing. We're not doing that right now. Now, with that all being said, you may feel like, well, I just got ripped off. I, instead of making 0.035, I'm making a fourth of that amount. That's the worst. Well, it's easy to adjust because instead of applying that interest rate once a year, you apply it four times a year. So the letter T that we have for the number of years that we do it, four times that. So you get that applied over and over and over again. It's kind of like running a, a little bit of computer code. I have this set up and my original is like 627 times 1.035 now I'll you I'll actually run that code four times as often as I would have normally because I'm going to split this up also the nice the interesting thing not really interesting I mean it's mathy um, about this is after you run it one time the 627 will actually change to um, 3.5 trying to think so 0.875 percent more of 627 and then it'll be a little bit more each time so this number is actually constantly as, as soon as you run it once it's in flux but this the way that this uh, exponential equation sets up it adjusts for all that so you don't have to keep rethinking like what's my new principle so instead we have all this in there and that's our answer there's a lot of different ways that you could write it if you wanted to uh, convert this or do this division and then add it to the one you can do that they should accept it in this form um, just because why wouldn't they I think this ends up being like 1.0085 or something like that something to that 
whatever. So this is probably an 8 here somewhere. Anyway, I would probably leave it in this form because it has all the parts and whoever is grading it should be able to see like, yeah, that, that kind of works for me. I, you know, that, that's good. So there you go. Number 25.